This study of the saliva peptidome uses a lollipop-like ultrafiltration probe, followed by direct nano-LC LTQ mass spectrometry analysis. First assemble the LLUF probe using a polyether sulfone membrane and an ethylene propylene tube. Next, collect saliva specimens from volunteers and process through the LLUF probe to sample the saliva. Then proceed directly to Nano-LC LTQ mass spectrometry and analyze the data from saliva samples with and without LLUF probe treatment. Ultimately, the saliva peptidome can be obtained by analyzing the LCMS-MS data and comparing the identified peptides between the two samples. This approach of using a lollipop-like ultrafiltration probe coupled to a direct nano-LC LTQ mass spectrometry analysis offers key advantages over other methods such as digesting saliva proteins into peptides followed by mass spec analysis. The LLUF Pro simplifies and cleans the saliva and also enhance the MS detection of peptides in the whole saliva for clinical application. Using epoxy glue, seal the polyether sulfone membranes onto the borders of the triangle polypropylene paddles. Then attach a Teflon fluorinated ethylene propylene tube to a cylinder exit of a triangle polypropylene paddle. Sterilize the probes with 70% alcohol overnight. To evaluate proper sealing, immerse the LLUF probes in 50 mg per milliliter blue dextran solution for two hours. Confirm the absence of blue dextran in the collected samples. Recruit healthy 20 to 40 year old volunteers. After an oral rinse with water, ask the subject to spit whole saliva samples onto an ice cooled vessel, pool all samples and store on ice. Immediately after the collection, proceed to a 4 degrees Celsius room with 200 microliters saliva for the sampling with LLUF probes. Now soak the polyether sulfone membrane into human saliva in a culture dish. Create negative pressure by withdrawing a syringe to simulate an ultrafiltration process for sampling proteins from the saliva. Next, determine the protein concentrations. Prepare 1 microgram per microliter of the saliva protein samples for nano-LC mass spectrometry analysis. For sample analysis, we use an exigent nano-LC online coupled with a Finnegan LTQ mass spectrometer. First load 5 microliters of the undigested saliva samples to the trap column of the Nano-LC system by the auto sampler. After a wash step, switch the valve and deliver a 0 to 50% linear gradient of buffer B to the trap and the C18 separation column. Using the data-dependent mode of Excalibur, collect MS-MS spectra of the four strongest MS ions above an intensity of 1 times 10 to the fourth. For each sample, perform duplicate runs of three different separate preparations. Then import the data file into Sequest Sorcerer 2 system. Select to search against an appropriate human NCBI protein database using non-enzyme specificity. After Sequest searching, the results automatically filter, validate, and display in peptide profit and protein profit. Based on Sequest results, Peptide Profit estimates a comprehensive probability p-score that a peptide's assignment is correct versus incorrect and also identifies additional information on each peptide sequence. Protein Profit computes a probability score from 0 to 1 for each protein on the basis of peptides assigned to MS-MS spectra. This section determines the capability of LLUF probes to remove the oral bacteria. For bacterial detection, culture the saliva samples before and after LLUF probe collection on auger plates. 
For a test of aerobic bacteria, use antibiotic-free LB agar plates at 37 degrees Celsius for one day. And for anaerobic bacteria, use gas pack to culture the sample on brucella broth agar plates under anaerobic conditions at 37 degrees Celsius for one day. The fabrication of lollipop-like ultrafiltration devices facilitates sampling of saliva in an imitated oral environment. In this system, a negatively charged polyether sulfone membrane with a molecular weight cutoff at 30 kilodaltons is glued to a polypropylene paddle and positioned in front of the LLUF probe to filter out larger proteins in saliva. In order to mimic the human oral environment, a sponge is soaked in saliva. Using a syringe, the saliva is filtered and collected via the connected tube. Comparing LC chromatograms of saliva before and after LLUF sampling led to the identification of indigenous saliva peptidomes by NanoLC LTQ mass spectrometry. Since these differential chromatograms are derived without chemical or enzymatic digestion, they simplify sample preparation for clinical purposes. In this sample after LLUF, elucidation of the different protein compositions identified 131 peptides in undigested saliva. These peptides are fragments derived from various proline-rich proteins, actin, alpha amylase, alpha-1 globin, beta globin, histane-1, keratin-1, mucin-7, polymeric immunoglobin receptor, satherin, and S100A9. 26 unique peptides identified in saliva after filtering with LLUF probes are fragments mainly derived from various proline-rich proteins. This peptide derived from alpha amylase was exclusively detected in a saliva sample without collection with LLUF probes, illustrating the capacity of LLUF probes in removing large proteins. Most intriguingly, after removing larger proteins, several sequenced peptides were detectable in the LLUF probe sampled saliva. Notably, peptides with proline-rich C termini were identified in samples after ultrafiltration LLUF probes. You should now have a good understanding of you how to use a LLUF Pro to sample saliva for the mass spectra analysis. It's very important to collect and sample saliva under consistent conditions. Once mastered, I believe this technique can be performed properly within the three hours. This approach of uh, lollipop-like ultrafiltration probe coupled with direct nano-LC LTQ mass spectrometry analysis facilitates clinical applications for biomarkers in the diagnosis of human disease.